Hi, welcome to Driveway Talk. I'm Ron Anderson, your host, and Eugene Carrier is our camera person today. Today we're back here at the St. Bonnie's uh, Church Car Show in Bloomington. Uh, it's going to be a fabulous day. Uh, the sun's shining. We got a lot of cars, a lot of activity. We got dancing, a lot of stuff going on. So uh, hang in there and come on along for Driveway Talk. Well, we've stopped over by this Model T. Who are you, sir? I'm Glenn Paulson. Hi, Glenn, and we talked to each other uh, last year. I'm Ron I Anderson. So, yeah. And uh, just uh, briefly, tell us about your car. What year is this? In 1916, uh, Model T Ford Touring. Uh huh. And have you had it a long time? Uh, I was born about nine years. Oh. About seven of it was uh -huh. restoring it. So. I see. And uh, uh, so this is pretty dependable. You can drive this in the city. Oh yeah. Anywhere? Yeah, no problem. Uh -huh. Are you in uh, the Model T Club? Yeah, the T-Totalers. Sure. Uh, yeah, well, we, we did talk to you last year uh, on it, but uh, it's such a pretty car. We just oh. wanted to uh, say hi to you again. Okay, and, well, thank you. Uh, boy, it's uh, so do, what do you do, take the kids out in this and Sunday cruises? And uh, yeah, the grandkids come yeah. over and, and uh, we go sure. for a little ride or oh, that's fun. some friends uh, come over and we'll take it over to the park or what have you. And, uh -huh. Are these solid tires? No, they're pneumatic tires, uh, oh. 65 pounds pressure. Oh, I see. Oh, wow. Well, okay, uh, we just wanted to say hi, Glenn, and uh, okay. thank you for being on Driveway Talk again. you got a beautiful car. Thank you. So enjoy the day. Yep. Thank you. Well, we moved over by the Buicks, and who are you, sir? John Oscarson. Hi, John. I'm Ron Anderson with Driveway Hello. Talk, and Eugene's over there uh, behind the camera. Uh, now, both these cars are years. First of all, what year is this Buick? This one's a 65 Wildcat, two-door hardtop. 65 Wildcat. And I see on this uh, sign here, the base price is $3,200. Yeah. That was still a lot of money, though, in 65. Yeah, it's got a lot of options on the car. And what makes it kind of unique, it's a, what they call a survivor. Uh -huh. It's never been painted, never been restored. This is oh, the way it came from the factory. Oh, sure. Yeah, so the list, the total price forty one thirty in nineteen sixty five. I think I was making two bucks an hour back then. <laughs> that was a, that would a was a lot of money. Well, sixty five. I was still in high school making yeah. pizzas that night. <laughs> oh, all right. Uh, are you from the area here? Or? Uh, Lionel Lakes, up close to Hugo. Oh, That's where uh, we're from. Are you in any car clubs up there? Uh, currently, the only one I belong to is uh, Plymouth Owners Club because oh. I have a Plymouth. Besides this and a Mustang. Oh, you, you got a nice car club up there, though, uh, up north called the Northern Lights. Northern Lights, Sal. Yeah. yeah. A lot of nice guys in that club. Probably. I know a few of them. And then, uh, uh, so how long have you had this uh, car here? Ooh. Many years, huh? It's been a while. My dad bought it from the original owner, and then wow. I got it from him, oh, maybe five, six years ago. Wow. It's been a while. Sure. And then, uh, this do we care what year is this? It's a 53 Roadmaster. Uh -huh. Four-door four sedan, one. and this one's been restored. It has, uh, I think, 67 or 69,000 miles. Wow. I'll get out of Eugene's way here, and uh, he can take a shot of this. Uh, no, this is all stock with the... Yeah, this one's been restored, but the thing with the Roadmaster in 53, mm -hmm. Roadmaster and Skylark were the only ones with the V8s. I see. This one has the V8 and power steering, and all the rest had the straight eights yet. I see. Hmm. So it's a good roadworthy car. We took it up to Superior mm -hmm. uh, about a month ago, and I run 65 right with the traffic all the way up. What I remember about these old Buicks and Pontiacs, they were kind of slow off the line, but once you got to get them going, they would fly. Is yep, that that's the one with this one. This one oh. here's a little quicker. It's got sure. a bigger motor in it. Sure. But yeah, once you get it rolling, and it's you could tell that's what they advertise, the road yep. car, great American road car. Oh, sure. It's a beautiful car. Thank you. Uh, I was attracted right away to this four-door. Uh, just uh, just a neat car. Uh, you don't see a lot of four doors. And no. Everybody goes for the convertible and the two door hard tops. Yeah, right, right. Uh, well, we just wanted to say hi and uh, talk to your car a little bit and about your car. And okay. so, uh, thank you for being on Driveway Talk. Thank you. Thank you. We'll see you down the road. Okay.
hope you folks enjoyed that music we played for you and we stopped over here by the souls. Who are you? I'm Jim Hyland from Bloomington. Hi Jim, I'm Ron Anderson. Ron, we know each other again. Yes, sir. Nice to see you and Eugene's our camera person. What you what kind of car do you have here? Well we've got a 76 Olds Cutlass Supreme Brome with hard to find T tops. Wow, that is nice. Hard, that is hard to find, isn't it? Yep, it's uh, it's had a lot of work done to it. I've just had it a short period of time. Mm -hmm. um, my uh, my uh, special lady, Chris Welsh, mm -hmm. fell in love with the car and made me buy it. So oh, sure. she uh, she loves driving it, and it's kind of her car. And but it's uh, had a lot of work done to it. It's a uh, nice paint job, and uh, everything is uh, is really runs well. It's just how a great driving car. How many miles? On it's it? only got ninety six thousand miles, uh -huh. and had, uh, uh, and and one old body in the trunk. I mean, other than that, you know, sure. it's. Was he sleeping in there? What do you? Who's that guy? Who's that guy? He was here. Uh, he's been giving us a lot of problems uh, last year and this year. I, I, he may have been trying to steal my spare tire. I don't. I don't I, know where he comes from. Uh, anyway, uh, is this your la lady friend? Come here. Chris, come here a second. Chris, come here. Come here. Now this is uh, you drive. You wanted this car, right? Yes. Okay. I fell in love with this car. You fell in love. Who, what's your name? Chris Welsh. Okay. Well, uh, thanks for being on driveway talk and. Uh, so, do you have any other classic cars or what? Uh, the other car we have is a uh, 87 Camaro IROC Z, and that's uh -huh. kind of been my driver, and we've got it parked over on the other side. Oh, They're I just see. kind of a uh, fun little toy to have. And Okay. Well, you know, you used to see a lot of these cars around, but you, you don't really see these anymore. Not that many of them. No. I think this is the only one here today. Yeah. The only one Especially here. Especially with the glass tops, I can't recall uh, seeing one like that. Yeah. So. No, it's, a, it's a great car. Great car. We really enjoy driving it. Sure. Well, we just uh, wanted to say, uh, uh, you know, hi to you and uh, talk to you about your car a little bit. Is there any special features on this car? Or? Gosh, you know, other, other than the T-tops and... Um, it's not a four-speed. Not a four-speed. It's 350 automatic, mm -hmm. air condition that blows cold, and uh, gosh, everything works except the clock. Nice the highway clock, driver. It? it is, it is. Okay, good well, cruiser. thanks for being on driveway. Talk. Hey, Ron, it's yeah. always good to see you. Nice to see you guys. We'll yeah. see you down the road. Well, we moseyed on here in front of the Chevy. Who are you, sir? Uh, my name's Tom Clementson. Hi, Tom. I'm Ron Anderson with Driveway Talk, and Eugene's our camera person. Uh, what year is your Chevy? Uh, 1959. Have you had it a long time? Uh, this will be my third summer. Oh. Uh, are you in any car clubs? Uh, just MSRA. That's MSRA? It. Yep. Oh. What suburb are you in? Uh, Egan. Egan? Oh. Okay. And do you have any other cars, or just this one? Just this one. Well, actually, I got a 51 Willys pickup truck. I'm just, oh, just getting started on that. It's oh, wow. all in pieces right now. But ha Did you pretty much buy this like this? Are you just updating it or? Uh, I bought the body like this. Um, I lowered it. I put uh, disc brakes on it. Oh. Put a different motor, different transmission, kind of, you know, slowly working on it. Looks real nice. Uh, these 59s and 60s are becoming more popular every year, aren't they? Yes, they are. They're, a lot of them got wrecked years ago because they raced them. Yeah. Yeah, they're a wide car. Yeah. And okay. they, they, I, I believe they're a nice highway car for travel. Very nice. Yeah. It's heavy. Uh -huh. I mean, that's why they got the name Land Yacht, because it feels like a boat when you're flying down the highway. Sure. What uh, size engine's in here? A 355. 355. Yeah. How many years did they make them, do you know? Or? Well, that's a 350. They made them for years. It's just a 30 oh. over 350. I it's see. Okay. Stock. Okay. Uh, I, uh, and then what, what do you got for a transmission in there? Uh, turbo 350. Oh, okay. Sure. Yeah. Can we open the hood there? It's nice and clean. A little dusty, but yeah, I went to a show yesterday too, so it's kind of driving around a lot. Sure. Got the Edelbrock stuff on there. Oh, yeah. So, uh, uh, you said you're only in the MSRA, no other car clubs? No. Okay. No, nope. just MSRA. Do you use this car a lot? Yeah, actually, I probably put, mm, I don't know, 8,000, 9,000 miles on a year, I suppose, oh, sure. something like that. We use ours too. Eugene and I are going all the time. I'm always trying to find the guys always on the road. But anyway, well, we just wanted to say hi to you and uh, appreciate it. Uh, we you like your car, so thank we you. To talk to you. Did you get uh, the camera shot in the back of this car, Eugene? From the, the back? fins? Yeah. No, I didn't. Let's go look at the back. This is what's unusual about these uh, 59 and 60 Chevys is uh, these fins. This actually is, is uh, a very unique back end because uh, a lot of times in the 50s you've seen the fins come come up. This, uh, yeah, and this actually comes out instead of up. So it's a very deep fin. Cadillacs went the other way. They went up and down like the 57 Chevys. Sure. And they were huge like that, real, real sure. big. 
Big trunk, wow, very big. You could get a lot of people into driving in that. Yeah, that's right, at least three. Yeah. Oh, three. Oh, well, you've been there, I see that. Yeah, we've tried that. At least six. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good. You don't want to do it tonight, though. It's no. too hot. No, and everybody's going to know now, too. Yeah, now they're looking at <laughs> these 59 Chevy trucks. Open the trunk up. Well, okay, buddy. Thanks a lot. Thank you. On driveway talk. I appreciate and, it. Uh, Thank you. We do, too. See you down the road. Well, here we are in front of a javelin. Who are you, sir? I'm Joe Gadotti. Hi, Joe. I'm Ron Anderson with Driveway Talk, and that's Eugene there. Uh, what year is your Javelin? It's a 1971 Javelin SST. Mm -hmm. Have you had it a long time? Yes, I have. I have it over 28 years. I bought it in March of 1974. How do you keep something for 28 years? I mean, that's, I can't <laughs> imagine having anything that long. Well, you just have to find a spot in the garage to put it and some place to put it in winter. And love it to death. That's about it. It's had wow. a hard life when I was a teenager, but now it gets kind of babied. Wow. Uh, do you have any other cars? Yes, I do. I have two other old Triumphs. That's 1964 Triumph. uh, Spitfire and a 1970 uh, GT6 Plus. Wow. What size engine's in the uh, Javelin here? Yeah, it's a uh, uh, 401. 401. That's the big one for this 1971. Is that an automatic? It's not. It, SSTs pretty much came, uh, from what I understand, it's automatics, and the AMXs were the sticks. Oh, I see. So what's the difference, actually, between a Javelin and an AMX? Just the outside trim? Or? Well, that, between the SST and the AMX, yeah. uh, like I said, the AMX is mainly four-speed, but also the AMXs have like a polished uh, aluminum dash. They have a tack inside the, on the right-hand uh, like hole with the clock, so the oh, tack's actually inside the clock, where I don't have a tack, oh. except the one I added on years ago. Is that